State University, we enjoy taking care of the environment. One of the buildings that shows this is the Transit Center, located at Laurie Student Center. The building is sustainable in the aspect of water, energy, material, and health. In 2006, Laurie Student Center was renovated to add a 14,000 square feet Transit Center. The Transit Center is also home to the historical weather station here on campus. It's been in this current spot since the 1960s, but has been around and collecting data since the 1870s. It collects data for national research and is also just available to the public. Not really a note on sustainability, it's just a cool, fun historical fact about our campus. Many in the construction management department know that the transit center was our first lead gold building project. What many don't know is that the sustainability efforts began back in the 1990s, actually started simply with just recycling. Um, there was no recycling effort before this, and when they did install it, there was a reduction in about 200 dumpsters a year with just recyclable materials. The first building project, the first building project done on campus for sustainability was actually the historic Guggenheim Hall. Um, as we all see when we go to our classes, the renovations that have been done to it, we even see the pictures of the renovations done to it. This was a interior improvement and also sustainability effort, and it actually also gained a LEED certification for the efforts that were taken. After this was done, then the CSU Transit Center came next, which obviously obtained the LEED Gold certification. And after seeing the success of this project and the benefits that came from it, in 2008, CSU created the CSU School of Global Environmental Sustainability. Uh, its purpose was to research and implement different sustainability initiatives. Um, and this all came from the success of the CSU Transit Center building. Transit Center has energy efficient windows for energy efficient lighting. It reduces energy consumption by 31%. The building is also being powered by renewable wind energy. The bathrooms are equipped with high efficiency toilets and low flow faucets. The building is built with recycled material by using 10% of reused materials. The Transit Center has light color concrete shading from trees and also has a reflective roofing material to help reduce the temperature. The Transit Center promotes alternative transportation by having bus routes, bike racks, ram ride, electrical scooters, and so much more. The Transit Center at CSU was awarded gold by LEED in 2007 by creating a comfortable, sustainable space for students and visitors. Along with the construction efforts that were taken, in this project for sustainability to obtain the LEED Gold Certification, there are other numbers and figures that show the success of this project as well. Um, in the year before the transit center was built, the average number of passengers from CSU per day was about 15,000. In the year after the transit center was built, that number grew to over 26,000. The amount of cars that were off the road because of this and also the congestion on streets and parking over campus in general made the impact of this project even greater. <laughs>